Uh, good Let's evening. Do this is the 522 Economic Development Infrastructure Committee meeting. Meetings call to order. Let's do a roll call. Thank you. Thank you. Johnson Wipers. Markham. Miller, they have with notice. Robin. Present. Long. Here. Fizz. Present. Um, Charles. Present. Gershenson. Here. Thanks. Wonderful. Then um, let us uh, approve the agenda, which only has one item under regular. Moved by Long, supported by Markham. Any discussion about that? Let's go ahead and do a voice vote. Voice vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed by the same sign. Hearing none, that motion carries. Agenda is approved. Uh, item four, public comment. Is there anyone here who would like to address this board yes, on, on the item? Come on up, uh, Mrs. Kennedy. If, if there's anyone who would like to address the board on item 5A, which is our purchase agreement with Six Rivers Land. Sure. We're, ready? We're, ready. We're, at, we're at public comment. <laughs> <laughs> Can't come in like a party. Good. Oh, um, <laughs> hold on one second. Don't start. Don't start, please. Okay. Yeah. We're not on air either. Are we not taping this? Right. Yeah, it's sure. being recorded. It's not live. No, he doesn't have the red light on. Oh. You must have turned off. Yeah, okay. sorry. Mm -hmm. Ready when you are, Mrs. Kennedy, with uh, yeah. your name and uh, your community tweet. Okay, my name is Catherine Kennedy. I'm from Orion Township. And this particular parcel, when it was first discussed, it was May or June of 2021. This was originally 83 acres that was owned by Troy Schools, and my brother helped them get preserved. So the entire 83 acres was already preserved through a conservation easement in the very beginning before the county started talking about making it into a park by using another conservation loan to acquire it through this six, whatever the name of the conservation, I'm sorry. I didn't have time to review it in detail. It got added very last minute, the whole meeting. So I know that the terms originally included that 18 or 11 acres were spun off approximately to a developer on the corner in exchange for the developer building the parking lot for the conservation plan. So I don't know why we would be spending $800,000 to acquire 1.67 acres for the property next door when we already gave 11 acres to a developer and they were supposed to put the parking lot in. That was the deal, if you will. So I guess I know you guys never answered my questions. I've never had any questions answered by the entire county throughout the years that I've asked questions. It's very disconcerting. I've answered, I've personally answered some of your questions. Yes, you have, you have. You, I would absolutely say that you have, but I've actually sent documents to the county fiscal that have never been answered. Anything else you'd like to share with us today? No, that's my only concern. I don't think we should be spending 800000 which is an extraordinarily high price for 1.67 acres to start with, when the deal with the developer got 11 acres, basically pretty much in the deal, to put a parking lot in. That was the arrangement. So I guess I object to the entire thing on that basis. The developer should be paid for it anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to address this board uh, from the public on this item? Seeing no other public comment, we will go ahead and close our first public comment. Which takes us to the meat of our agenda, item four, uh, item five, regular agenda, purchase agreement. I'll take a motion to recommend to the board the purchase agreement with Six Rivers Land Conservancy for 2473 Square Lake Road in Troy, Michigan. Looks like Melissa's here, Paul's here. Uh, floor is yours. Thank you. Chris Bunch from Six Rivers Land Conservancy. Oh, I, yeah, I called for it, but I didn't grab it. <laughs> Can I get a motion? Uh, moved by Gershison and supported by Markham. Thank you. 
Thank you. I did just want to acknowledge that Chris Bunch from Six Rivers Land Conservancy, who's been our longtime partner on this Turtle Woods acquisition project this year as well, if there's any questions for them. Uh, but essentially what Paul and I are here to present to you um, is what we presented uh, last week in closed session. It's the, it's the same proposal. They did sign the purchase agreement this morning. Um, so we do have a, a purchase agreement that everyone has agreed upon at the $800,000 price that we talked about. Um, I don't know if anyone had a chance to look at it, but Amy did a really nice job summarizing it in her um, policy analysis. But um, but it is what we presented before, um, the purchase agreement, and then we will essentially take possession of the property immediately through a lease with Six Rivers, um, and the Colbergs will sublease through us, and they will stay on the property for up to 12 months while they you know, seek to relocate, and we finalize, hopefully, uh, everything with the trust fund. So we're happy to answer any questions. Thank you both. Um, I know uh, Commissioner Long uh, verbally, audibly said Oh, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, I just wanted you to explain the necessity for the record, even sure. though we've heard it, for the property about the parking spaces. Yeah, so this property, um, the Turtle Thank Woods, you. the Turtle Woods 70 acres itself mm -hmm. is landlocked, essentially, um, except for off of Evanswood Road, which is a neighborhood, um, and is the nicest, most beautiful piece of property where a parking lot would not be appropriate to put. Um, so this property is really one of very few, if not zero other options for us to put in enough parking to access this parcel. We do have 12 or 13 spaces at the Robertson Brothers development, which is great, um, but it's very, very small for a county regional nature preserve. Um, so this will allow us to have good, easy access right off Square Lake Road, nice signage off of the road, um, hopefully a 40 to 50 uh, space parking lot with a small restroom next to it and places for a bus to turn around for field trips and other activities. So it will very much meet our needs for providing access to the park. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Long. Any other questions on this item? All right, then I will go ahead and call for the vote. Oh, it's a roll call. Okay. Yeah, mine didn't work. Okay. Did you know that? Did you okay. Long? Yes. <coughs> Markham? Yes. Charles? Yes. And Robin? Yes. We have seven yeas, zero nays. Wow. I mean, wonderful. Um, <laughs> that motion carries. That is item 5A under the regular agenda. That takes us to item six, which is public comment. Is there anyone who would like to address the, the committee? Yes. Yeah. Um, um, I have no um, qualm with the second public comment, Ms. Kennedy. Go ahead and uh, let me get your timer so you can see it nice and large. Mm -hmm. And when you start talking, I'll uh, hit the start. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Catherine Kennedy again from Orion Township. I attended the first meeting and I actually take issue with them claiming that they needed to do this transaction because it was landlocked because the parcel was on South Boulevard. So it was not originally landlocked until they created the condition. Thank you. Thank you. Any other uh, individuals like to address this committee for the second public comment? Seeing no one heading to the front of the room, is there any other business for EDI for today? Seeing nothing, we will go ahead and adjourn.